Stacy Slade. Um, I've got two helpers here behind me. Hopefully they won't run into me. Um, I'm covering today a very important topic of how to keep your dog cool in hot weather. Something that's near and dear to my heart and something that everyone has the ability to pay attention to and make sure that they do correctly. But before I start, I wanted to show you guys a cool t-shirt that we have in our Tagline Goods t-shirt shop. The link will be at the end of this video. I'll also post it down below me. Um, and uh, it helps, our Tagline Goods shop helps me to buy the equipment to be able to do these videos. So if you see something you like there, go ahead and get it. This is a cool dog mom t-shirt. Um, anybody and everybody should have this. We have awesome Bernese Mountain Dog. We have lots of different breeds available. So definitely check out Tagline Goods and uh, and see what, what you can find. We've got some really cool, cool shirts this is one of them um, our, our my t-shirt shop so getting back to how to keep dogs cool deuce has nice slobbery on his head good job buddy he goes I'm keeping myself cool with slobber so what's important in keeping dogs cool so if you notice Bernie's mountain dogs have thick coats okay so these guys can overheat very quickly and it's really important to do your homework on how to keep your dog cool so we've talked a lot in grooming about how to keep your dog clean. I wash my dogs at least once a month to get that dead coat out of their, uh, out of their, their coat. So you're having a clean coat that, that the cool air can circulate in a clean coat. If they don't have a clean coat and they're full of mats and dead hair, you're going to have a little bit of problem of keep the dog keeping themselves cool just of how their coat's supposed to work. Shaving does not help. It actually takes away their ability to keep the cool air circulating through their coat and the sun just uh, permeates the skin. So be aware of that. We've got grooming rakes. We've got lots of different things to keep your dog cool, keep that coat clean and that dead coat out. Second is make sure that you're aware of your dog's abilities. So it, it's, it's a day, like I think it's 75 degrees out here today. We've got sun. I'm in the shade doing my video. That was a conscious decision. I didn't want my dogs to feel like they had to be out in the sun. Hazy now just went into the, the bark over there and she's nice and cool. She dug a hole, which we'll discuss later, um, but she's staying cool. That's why dogs dig holes is to stay cool for the most part. Um, another handy thing that every dog owner should have is a thermometer. They're like three bucks at your local pharmacy. Just get a little digital thermometer. They're super cheap. Have this on hand. It's, an, it's so important to have when you have an animal. You, it's one of those things that you hope you don't need it, but when you need it, you need it now. Okay, so get a thermometer. Dog's temperature is 101.5 to 102. Anything over 103, you're in trouble. So keep that in mind. Make sure that you know where your thermometer is if you're traveling, going camping, whatever. Um, the other thing to pay attention to is not only the temperature, but I got a little thermometer, nine bucks at my local hardware store, nine dollars for the temperature and humidity. Humidity is important. I live in a part of the country where there's not a lot of humidity um, compared to the Midwest, but we do have humidity. Uh, it was about 80% humidity a couple days ago. That's really hot and the dogs can't circulate um, it can't keep themselves cool when it's that humid because the the kind of barometer the dew point index is too much for for them uh, so it, you've got to be really pay attention to that and and the temperature so when you have a Bernese Mountain Dog there's a few things that are just important shade water always in my car I have a jug of water this is an old juice jug I get jugs of water gallon jugs they are in my car if I'm going somewhere I pick up three extra fresh ones I have a bucket so important to always carry with you okay so important that's just like your keys in your wallet water in a bucket okay if your dog's with you water in a bucket um, and making sure you have shade so let's talk about cars for a second in a car, a dog can overheat so quickly, it's not, it, it, it's unbelievable that this still happens. So don't leave your dog in a car, have the AC running, um, and make sure it's not in a place that's packed so far in your car, it's getting no AC around it, 
and or it has a plastic kennel that can't get the airflow through. So think through these things. Don't just assume the dog is fine. Don't put the dog in the back of a cargo uh, area in a truck and think it's fine. That's actually even hotter because they get direct sun. They shouldn't ride there anyway. Um, be very aware of any time you shut your car off and your dog is in it and it's warm outside. 70 degrees on a day like today in my car can get to 85, 95 within about 10 to 15 minutes, okay? It's really, it's a death trap for a dog. Rolling down a window does not cut it, folks. So have a thermometer in your car. That'll help you out a lot too. And there are apps that you can put with a thermometer in your car and keep uh, aware of the temperature on your phone. So, you know, we can do these things smartly now. Um, that goes back to the crate thing in your house if you don't have AC um, and mostly anyway a Bernese Mountain Dog does not do well in a plastic crate um, fly them in a plastic crate but in your house get a wire crate Midwest wire series you get a 42 inch wire crate the airflow just goes right through it you need that airflow for these dogs they pant they're hot my dogs pant in the winter they'll go out and sit on the snow and pant so we want to keep them cool. We have to make those extra thought processes to keep dogs cool. So the other part that people don't think through a lot is where the dog is standing. So dogs ha can emit sweat through their feet and through their paw, through, excuse me, through their tongue. So their, their feet and their mouth. That's it. They don't sweat anywhere else. We sweat lots of different places. I do see Deuce. He's sleeping here. So, the, making sure if your dog is panting a lot and you know what a normal pant is for your dog and they're uncontrollably their mouth is wide open trying to get as much air as possible your dog is having a hard time staying cool this is a normal pant for deuce this is pretty low-key he's not taking sharp intakes of breath and I know he's doing okay so I don't walk them on hot asphalt. I'm not walking my dogs during the heat of day. I don't take my dogs to parades where the sun is out. Um, I don't, if I have a daily regimen, regimen of running and I wanna run in the, in like the sun in cool evening or something like that, I don't take my dogs. Here in the Pacific Northwest, our hottest hours of the day are between three and 5 p.m. I'm aware of that. I know what my, I need to do to keep my dogs circulating air cool air and have that water and have that that cool coolness to them so they don't overheat heat stroke can come on very fast very very fast you might be wearing a long sleeve t-shirt and think no big deal but these dogs are black and they have a thick coat so they can get overheated very quickly especially if they're in the sun his coat is cool to the touch right now and that's what I want to see if he's remotely warm to the touch I need to make sure he's in shade so think through that if you're taking your dog somewhere think of the accommodations for your dog do they have a seat for them in a building that's you know if it's a hot area especially if you live in a hot area of the world so um, when a dog gets heat stroke they pant uncontrollably they're usually a little listless um, they are their heart rate is really high there the if you look at the gums on your dogs you should know what color the gums are on your dogs when they're happy and and healthy because when a dog is have heat stroke has heat stroke they can go incredibly pale or they can go dark dark red with it has a red blood cell uh, reaction so know what your dog's capillary response and the color of their gums look like um, when a dog has heat stroke, they may not be responding. They might lay down. They might just sit there panting. So those are stretching. No, that's not part of it. <laughs> I'm glad you're just having a good time, buddy. Um, so make sure you're aware of those things and are know what's normal for your dog. And if you are in any question, get a thermometer out and take your dog's temperature. Again, 101.5 to 102 is normal. Um, Okay, so the few things that we can do if you think your dog is having heat stroke is one, you're getting it to the vet while you're doing this stuff. You use tepid water, don't use, just use room temperature water, don't use ice cold water because that can institute a uh, blood vessel, the constriction of the blood vessels and then they actually go into um, hypothermia. So we don't want to do that. We want to just use tepid water. You get water on a towel, soak a towel in water and drape it over your dog. So do, don't do that on the camera. Um, if I had wet towel, 
I put it on my dog and I, I just keep him here in the shade, chilled out with a wet towel on him. Um, and make sure he's got his pads can breathe air that we could put some water on the pads um, you don't want ice water you can give them water you don't want to give them ice water you want to cool them from the inside out um, with cool water but not ice cold water we don't want that capillary constriction or the blood vessel restriction or constriction excuse me um, so you offer water and put a, get a wet towel and take them to the vet but you got to get them cool if you're putting them in a hot car to take them to the vet think again stay in the shade until you can get the car cool and the AC going and then go. Um, so a lot of you have asked me how I keep my dogs cool. This is my treasure chest that I think everyone should have something of this type of things with you. First of all, I have about five buckets and three water jugs in my car at all times with my dogs. And I fill them up when I get to my location. As I'm driving, if my car breaks down on a hot sunny day, I've got water in a bucket, okay? So think through those things. Um, when I go to events like dog shows or draft tests or anything, I have a shade cloth that I can drape over my car, over the windshield, over the back, wherever the sun is hitting my car. I have really cool shade cloths that reflect the sun, that keep my car cool if the dogs need to be in the car, but I always have the back end up or the doors out so there's airflow. And I've got a shade cloth over the top. It come, get cool little clippies, you can clip it to your car. You've got a nice setup where you've created your own shade for your dog. So that's over the top of my car or my canopy or wherever I'm camping or hanging out with my dogs. The other thing that's super important and what I have going on in my house right now, because not a lot of us have AC out here in the Northwest, I have probably about five fans going in my house right now. My dogs love fans, okay? so. All the ones in my house plug in, but this is a really cool one that has a battery that I can charge easily and it lasts for a couple hours and I can turn it on and my dogs get good, good, cool circulation from this. In fact, when I show a dog, they learn to just snuggle up right to the fan. They know what this is and you can use this. If you have your dog in a crate, you can use it as a crate fan and put, hang it from the crate and it's pretty easy to just turn on and put it onto the crate. Uh, you can do this in your car. There are battery offered ones that are a little bit smaller for your car too. But again, the fan is only as good as its battery. So be aware of where your batteries are. You've got to check on your dog. It's not a substitution for you paying attention to what's going on with your dog. Um, the other things I use Deuce come, Deuce is cool coats. Uh, a lot of people have used cooling vests. I don't, I've never used a cooling vest. I've used cool, cool coats. It's like a chamois type thing. I've soaked it in cold water and I put it on my dog. I can snap it, although that one got eaten by a puppy. You can snap it underneath and you're off and running. So this only as good as I keep it cold and wet. So I'll take my water and if this, like after about 45 minutes to an hour, it might start to dry. I just dump some more cold, stay there, Deuce, come here. Dump some more cold water. He's like, mom, I'm not cold. Okay, not hot. So, and it stays cold for him. Okay, so these cool coats are awesome. So he's wet and after he's been wearing the cool coat, I can feel into his coat and he's cool. This thing keeps him cool as long as I keep it wet. The other option, come here easy, is a cooling towel that you can put down uh, for them to lay on or easy come if I'm just sitting there I have a smaller dog I can put it over the top this one's a fancy blingy one and I'll put in the uh, the notes for this video a friend of mine who makes these she makes them very they're super sparkly and, and fun I like that I like sparkly um, and it's cold it's cool to the touch and Hazy can wear it um, when she's when I'm out at a place uh, like a restaurant if I take her and it's shady but hot and I want to keep her cool um, she also makes cool coats like the one you saw where you can clip up here and clip underneath and they can walk around with it again it's a tool it doesn't solve the world's problems in my dog's crate when I'm driving or I'm at a dog show I have things that are cooling so this looks like an average blanket but it's uh, technology that actually is cooler to the touch um, and it, especially if you get it damp this fabric is cooler than any other fabric 
Um, it's the technology, it's Zentech technology. So I have something that's not like a fleece that would insulate my dog. I have something that it helps cool him in the crate. I also, this is a cool thing. It's like a cooling mat, but I can take it with me. It has handles. Um, it's a bags on ice and it has a cool thing in here that I open up. I pour ice into, I get a bag of ice at the gas station and I pour that ice in here and I can shake it down. And so I, it's actually a nice ice bed. It does take some training for your dog to learn how to, to lay on this. But once they figure it out, uh, they don't leave it. When Chase's mom figured this out, she was actually protective of it. And she just curled up in a ball on the ice and it lasts like for four hours. So again, it's something that's a tool in my tool chest to keep my dogs cool. Um, AC is going to be your winner if you have AC. If you think your dog is too hot, you can hose them down. Um, but you don't want to make, if it's super hum humid and you hose them down, that might not help them because they can't get the airflow. You maybe wet them down on their undercarriage. But hoses work. I, I wet my dogs down on a hot day, take them swimming. Kitty pools only work if your dog uses them. My dogs don't really like them. Um, but be alert, guys. This is this is no joking matter. I would not take my dog on a hike or a walk in hot weather where I don't have shade cover of the trees and I know there's not water nearby because you don't know how much tolerance your dog has. I've had dogs that have very low heat tolerance and so I'm very aware of keeping them cool. I'll have used ice packs. Um, you know, when I have puppies, sometimes I offer them to sleep on an ice pack and they take me up on it so please be aware of your dog please be aware of the heat please be aware of what your dog's reaction is and if they're panting you've got to be on top of it if you're not going to be with your dog a hundred percent make your dog sure your dog is secure in a cool area and maybe have someone check in on them i have done that before if your ac is only as good as it works if you have a, an ac unit it might break those are things that are just tragedies uh, I've seen happen. So be aware of your dog. If you, someone else is taking care of your dog, make sure they are aware of these things and have the tools and are able to watch the dog to make sure they don't overheat. So again, get a thermometer. Know this dog, this, this breed overheats. If you have a heavy coated dog, just be aware that keep them clean, keep the dead undercoat out so their hair is clean and healthy. So the cool air can circulate through and uh, make sure your dogs stay cool everyone holler with any questions I'll leave uh, links in the comments uh, down below and uh, stay safe and uh, check out tagline goods uh, the link is up here it will help me continue to do videos and it has cool stuff for all of us dog lovers so uh, please subscribe and see you next time